Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I've got an idea for you. Have you ever bought any of these low flow sprayers that you put on your kitchen sink only to find you have almost no water and you can't wash that Great Dane of yours in that sink? Well, I'm going to show you today a permanent easy fix so you can take these low flow sprayers and turn them into a regular flow out of your kitchen sink so you can wash that Great Dane or your vegetables, or your pots and pans, or your hummingbird feeders with an easy, quick fix. So here are the faucets, and you know what they are, and you can buy any brand you want. Let's open up the white one, I'll show you what it looks like, because the black one's really hard to see on camera. Now they come with extra washers, whatever works for your sink, but here's the issue. That low flow piece, that's inside, I'll show you, does not come out. They've permanently put it in there. There it is. See those three little tiny pinholes? That's all the water you're gonna get. This doesn't come out. There's no way it's permanent. It is designed that way. It is one piece. You cannot take that out. Some of the others, different brands, they do pop out, but a lot of them now no longer pop out. So this is what you get, and when you put it on, you have get almost no water because all your water is only going to be coming through those three little holes it brings it down to 1.5 gallons per minute and it's really really slow it's a real slow flow if you're trying to wash something I have had nothing but problems and I was kidding about the Great Dane but who knows but you can't really do much with it. I'm gonna show you how to permanently fix these. They're plastic, and let me tell you something, they're really good, they're rugged, and they last a long time, but it's that that I don't like. So this is the low flow faucet, and when you put it on, you get very little water. Oh gosh, this one's, wow. Yeah, some sinks really try to reject it, So this is all the water I get out of this one. It's going to have to be tightened, but the water is fighting on this faucet because of the whole thing so small. So let's go fix this, and I'll show you how you get better water. So my old sink is rejecting this because, well, it's just having a problem, and it's spraying around the top. I would have to put it on with a wrench and make it real tight and be careful not to break the plastic. They do come with extra washers, but I need more water flow. So let me show you how we're going to make those holes a little bigger. Now you all know I absolutely love my soldering irons. And if you watch all our garden shows, you'll see that I use this for everything for making holes. Well, guess what? You can also fix your sprayers. These are plastic. What we're going to do is we're going to get inside and we're going to very slowly and carefully, without touching the threads or anything of your faucet, we're going to make those holes just a little bit bigger. Now this is plugged in and you do need electricity and you're going to just slowly go in there and make the holes a little bigger. You don't have to do all three, but you can if you want. The reason it, it is sizzling is because we had it in the sink. Then you can go back with a piece of wire or a nail and clean out a little bit of the excess plastic that may be left in there before you put it on. But that's all you need to do. Or you can make it into one big hole. It doesn't matter. But what we want to do is open up the flow. Now look at that flow. You're going to get good water through here. And now you'll be able to wash that Great Dane or your Yorkie or even your dishes and get enough water and not have to wait for so long to fill something and be able to do what you need to do. But this is permanent. So once you do it, it will not be a low flow anymore. But I love this. And these are so cheap when they go bad, buy a new one. But that's it. Now you can just, when it's cool, go in there, make sure none of the plastic is loose everything is good and then just clean off any plastic that's loose see in there and then you're good to go because you don't want it to end up in the strainer now let's go get this on the faucet now we'll put it on 
This is the greatest hack. My sink should not, my faucet I should say, should not fight it anymore. You don't have to worry about how many washers you put on. Let's get this a little tight. And let's see how we go. Look at that. The greatest, easiest hack you can do. And you can wash anything you want now. And you've got beautiful flow. And no more spraying and fighting through the top anymore. You've got yourself a faucet that you now can clean anything you want. So I hope you enjoyed this hack on how to fix these sprayers so they work for you in your kitchen. And you even can put them in the bathroom. So have a great day. Please, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm always coming up with fun DIY ideas and ideas for just everyday use. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And it works.